Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of division, specifically how we can interpret remainders when we're using long division, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here on the screen. Monique divided up a bag of Skittles between her and her three cousins. She wanted to make sure everyone had the same amount of Skittles, so we're talking about equal groups. And when we're talking about equal groups, I'll write that right here, equal groups, that's going to mean we're dealing with division or multiplication. Division or multiplication always deals with equal groups, or the same amount in each group. Any leftover Skittles would be given to her big brother. If the bag had 66 Skittles, how many did her big brother get? So her big brother is only getting the leftovers. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. That's our remainder. So first we need to figure out that Monique and her three cousins, there are actually four people getting the Skittles. It would be uh, easy for us to make a simple mistake and just focus on this three, but it's Monique and her three cousins, so four people, that's our divisor, are going to be splitting up a bag of 66 Skittles. So we're going to divide our divisor four into 66, that's our dividend. Remember when we're uh, doing long division, um, does McDonald's sell cheese burgers? That's how I always remember the steps for long division. We're going to deal with our divisor and then one digit of the dividend at a time. So 4 goes into 6. We're going to divide that. 4 goes into 6 once. We're going to multiply it. 1 times 4 is 4. I'm just ignoring the second 6 right now. Subtract. It's going to be 2. Check. Remember, this 2 always has to be smaller than the divisor. If it's equal to or larger than the divisor, you didn't divide it up. you got to go back and do it again. So once that is smaller, we're going to bring this down. And then we've got this a new digit 6 added to that 2. We're going to look at this new number now is 26. That's going to be our new dividend. We're going to start all over again. 4 goes into 26. Let's see, that's not going to go even. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is a little bit too big. That's going to be 28. So I'm just going to say 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. Let's multiply. And then we're going to subtract 2. Check. Is this smaller than the 4? Yes, it is. There's no more to bring down, so when you're out of bring down, you're simply going to write this as a remainder. So each girl is going to get 16 Skittles, so we can multiply that. 16 times 4, let's make sure we get it correct. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4, add that 2 back in is 6, so I've got 64. And then you add the 2 left over, and then you get back up to your 66. So the question is, how much does your big brother get? Her big brother is going to get 2. Let's look at another problem. So here's our new situation. We have the 4th grade students at Central Elementary. They're going on a field trip. They're going to take vans. Each van can take a total of 8 people, including the driver. So this is going to represent our equal groups. We're looking at equal groups of eight. And so we need to figure out how many people are going. We've got 34 students and eight adults because we need some adults to drive and also to be the chaperones. So how many vans are we going to need? Well, I've got vans of eight, so I'm just going to draw a little van here. I can get eight people in a van. How many am I going to need if I have, let's see, 34 kids? and eight adults. Well, that's going to be 42. So I've got 42 people going, and I can put them into vans of eight. So let's divide. Let's see how many eights we can get into 42. So the closest I'm going to be able to get is five, because eight times five is 40. And that's going to leave me with two. So if I were just to do a simple division, eight divided into 42, we would say five remainder two. Remember the question is, is how many vans would you need? You can't order five remainder two vans. If you just get five vans, that's going to be enough for 40 people. And that's not going to be enough. Remember, we said we had 42 people. We can't just leave two people home. So in this case, our remainder says we're going to need to get a little bit above that. We're going to need to get six vans. And even though that's going to be 48 people, that's going to be enough to fit all of our people. So our answer is going to be six vans, and in this case, we don't worry about the leftover. We just got a little bit of room, so there might need to be some extra seats, but that's going to be just fine. 